Hello, this is Esteban Garcia with Nebia Technology. Welcome to this ALM Guide video series focused on helping you get started with application lifecycle management tools. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started with Visual Studio Online, which is essentially Team Foundation Server hosted on Azure. Getting started with Visual Studio Online is really simple. As you can see, I prepped by going to www.visualstudio.com. Once you get there, click on the sign in link on the top right, and you're going to be taken to the Visual Studio Online sign in page. Here, you can enter your Microsoft account or whichever account you have associated with your MSDN subscription. In my case, I'm using Esteban.outlook.com. After I enter my password, then I'm going to click sign in. Once you get here, you're going to be taken to your profile page. As you can see on the right hand side, I am associated with four different accounts already. So I'm going to create a new account. You might just see this right hand area empty and maybe just a link that says create a free account. So click on create a free account. It's going to take me to this page where I'm able to enter the name of the account that I want to create. Let's call this ALM guide. By default, your account is going to be created in the South Central US region. You can change this, so I can click on Change Options, and I can set this as West Europe. Those are the two regions where you can create Visual Studio Online accounts right now. This might expand in the future. The West Europe region just got added last year in 2014. Since I'm in the US, I'm going to select South Central US, and then click Create Account. On the right hand side, you can see all the things that you're going to get with Visual Studio Online, including some free users, unlimited access to MSDM subscribers, some free build minutes, load testing, and much more. So once you read through the whole page, I can click on Create Account. And just like that, I'm taken to Visual Studio Online. You can see on the top that almguide.visualstudio.com is now mine. Of course, you can't do much with Visual Studio Online or with TFS if you don't create a team project. So part of this process is going to take you through creating your first team project. Let's call it VSO Demo, so for Visual Studio Online Demo. The next thing that you have to choose is which process template you want to use. You can choose from Microsoft Visual Studio Scrum MSF for CMMI process improvement or MSF for agile software development. If you're familiar with TFS on premises, you're familiar with the different process templates. We're going to cover these in a future edition of this video series. I'm a big believer in Scrum, so I'm going to pick the Scrum template. And now I can choose between Git version control or Team Foundation version control. As you may know, you can now use Git hosted by Team Foundation Server or Visual Studio Online, or you can use Team Foundation version control, which has been there from the beginning of TFS. I like Git, so I'm going to stick with that, and then just click on the Create Project button. After a short time, I'm taken to my Visual Studio Online home, and here you can click around and find out more about it. Since we just created the VSO demo team project, I'm taken directly to that team project. If you want to go back to home and create other team project, you can click on the Visual Studio Online link on the top left, and then click on New to create more team projects. Switching back to my VSO demo team project, I can access all the different features of Visual Studio Online including my code repository, work items, build functionality, and testing features. We're going to cover all these different features throughout this video series. So make sure you come back often and check out the new videos that we post. Now you're ready to go to visualstudio.com and create your own account.